She's a good girl. Loves her mama. Loves Jesus. Hi, I'm Adam Baker. Well, I've been playing around Fort Wayne off and on since I was 19, which is 20 something years ago. Uh, I started playing like coffee houses, like Toast and Jam and stuff like that way back in the day. Took a break and went to college and actually studied guitar and all that stuff. Uh, and then uh, for the last six years, I've been playing in a band called Adam Baker and the Heartache, as well as doing some solo stuff. And uh, I've played in a few other bands here and there, but those, that's the one that's probably gigged the most that people might know. Um, so lots of, lots of singer-songwriter, uh, hosted a songwriting showcase for five and a half years. Uh, that's kind of generally, generally sums it up, I guess. I think when I was, you know, I, I sang in choir in seventh, eighth grade and all that stuff. And then when I was 15, I got a guitar for my birthday. And then uh, I kind of just stopped doing everything else. And just wanted to just wanted to play music, play guitar, and and um, find lots of people that played music to hang out with and learn from and trade trade ideas and I don't know, so that uh you know you get hungry for it like I guess some people just fall into it and just want to do it um, and so I've I've just never if, regardless of what I've done during the day I was like I've never never stopped wanting to just play success as a musician you know if. If, if anybody wants to hear you, if you if you set a gig up or you show up to play somewhere that people have asked for, you know, even if there's even if there's a dozen people there, like if they're there to see, you, like if people want to hear the music you've made, like that's meaningful, right? Um, and to me, like even if there wasn't anyone there, I'd still be playing for my cats in our living room because I just didn't enjoy generally making music. Um, but success, man. I, uh, as long as you feel, if you feel good about it, then you're successful, I guess. So this is my fourth year at Andy Fest. Um, uh, uh, Crystal has invited us each year, which has been awesome. We've done one with uh, my band, The Heartache. Uh, one with my girlfriend. We have a ukulele duo that we play in called A Couple of Ukes. And, uh, and then a couple of solo shows like we did today. And it's always just a lot of fun. Um, you get to watch a bunch of bands from the area hang out sometimes you end up running a soundboard for for a band uh unbeknownst uh, uh so that's fun too but uh it's always fun just camping hanging out swimming and like light a big bonfire at night and you get a bunch of people pulling out instruments and having sing-alongs and jams like at, at just a huge group of people that you some of them you know and some of them you don't it's just fun making music with people uh, if you want to hear more of the music uh, that i've done or you want to hear my whole band uh, you can go to adambakerandtheheartache.com. Uh, you can also look up um, at, you can look up Adam Baker or Adam Baker and the Heartache on Spotify, Apple Music, pretty much any streaming service, or Facebook, uh, Instagram. I think it's Adam Baker Heartache. Um, so it's a mix of band and solo stuff, but you'll find it all on there. Someone put the cat back in the bag I pulled the drawstring tight all right The thoughts all start to lag Everyone and everything I've ever known I thought that DNA was all etched into the bone The age is catching up to me New prescription lenses I can clearly see Now the fuzzy edge is all but gone As I learn about gracefulness And the best way to move on All the sinister thoughts Hiding some veil of locus of the mind And all we can do now is wait for some focus to find Find our way I know it's not gonna be easy Everything for a reason 
There is a time and a place We almost change with these seasons Songwriting is something that's super close to my heart. I've been writing as, almost as long as I've been playing guitar, since I was 15 or 16. And I think that, you know, write from where you're at, right? Um, if, it's, if it means something to you, there's a chance that it's gonna mean something to somebody else. Uh, like, you know, and, and the one thing I think above all else when you write, uh, no one wants to hear a song about a guy that went to a bar and did a thing. Like, you know, you gotta say, like, I don't know. Tim went down to Henry's and had a Manhattan. You got to be specific, or like it doesn't. There's there's nothing for people to visualize. So uh, visualize things, and then also just just you know speak from where you're at. My name is Kyle Haller. I'm here to talk to you about Rock the Plaza this Saturday, the 27th. It's going to be our last show of the season. Uh, which is always a little sad, but we're definitely wrapping it up with a solid rock and roll punch. We're gonna start the night off. Doesn't that sound good, rock and roll punch? That sounds like something Ken Casey made. I, I don't know. So we're gonna start the night off with the 906 band. Uh, good solid rockers here, lots of fun. You're definitely gonna love them. Then we're gonna mix it up just a little bit with a band called, a, an act called Open Strings. Uh, Open Strings is the acoustic act for the evening. They have some various string players. I, I think you're really gonna like what they have to offer. Then we're gonna blow everything up with the always fun, always fabulous S'mores. 
Uh, S'mores are a super fun band uh, led by C-Note. Uh, she is a master entertainer and, and the whole band really, really knows how to put a show. You cannot not have fun when the S'mores are playing. It's, it's just impossible. Then we are going to end the evening with AFU, which is all fired up. They will get you all fired up. They will get the entire plaza all fired up. We, like I say, we're gonna end this concert series with a bang with AFU and the whole evening. So we'll see you down there.